the PTO. I'm going good at that. Welcome back to another video of Scruffy Army. And if you're new, just tuning in, I'm Sean, aka the Scruffy Pigeon. I work for Formcliff Building Supplies and I deliver building supplies around North Wales and England, mainly Cheshire and Wimble in England. I drive a Volvo FE320 and I operate a Hi-Ab X Duo 128. It's Thursday, it's 20 past nine in the morning. Uh, I've already been out this morning and done two deliveries, local deliveries. It's only just getting light now, it was, uh, it's been dark and gloomy all morning. Anyway, we've got five deliveries on this load around the Chester area. Currently on the A55 now, heading towards Tarbin. And we've got some blocks to go there. And then we've got some sand, crush and run, gravel, uh, some other bits and pieces to deliver. Yeah, so. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, let's go. Is that delivery done? I couldn't film that one, but here's a picture of it. So, our next delivery is in Chester. I've got a bag of crush and run and 20 bags of kill dried sand. And would you believe it? It's like we're in a different video because half an hour ago it was grey. Now the sun's out, 16 degrees, mental. Oh, if, uh, and if I'm coming across a bit stiff, I've had a bit of a dodgy neck all week. So uh, if I look like a robot, that's why. Right, we're just arriving at our next delivery. Let's just find where we're going and get the delivery done. There's that one done. So on to the next, which is in Chester again. I've got a crush and run, a wash sand, a 10 mil limestone, and some cement.
Right, let's go to that one. from our next drop now. We're in the Lynch in Chester or the Lache. So let's get this off. to the next five minutes round the corner which is 
the salty end of Chester. So let's go. Right, we're nearly here at the next drop. Just one bag of crush and run to this next delivery. One done. One bag of crush and run. Now we're on to our last drop, which is two bags of wash sand and ten cement to Penneford. So let's go. Right, we've arrived at the next delivery. Looks a bit of a tight one this. A wooga. It is tight, but I think we can handle it. That rear steer coming into play again there. It's nice and easy, take your time. Would you believe it? There's a van behind me trying to get out. That's the way it rolls. Where's he going now? See where where I'm going. Yeah, a bit of a tight one this. What's it doing? Yeah, a bit of a tight one. Oh, I'm not going to get through, mate. I'm not going to get through. Uh, 
And it's just a car there. It's a bit too tight for me to get through. Just gonna move. Yeah, so I'm empty now and I'm I'm heading back to the yard. So when I'm empty, I, I would lift that rear steer. But because I down a tight lane, I'm not gonna lift it until I get out because the the swing on the rear end is a lot greater when you've lifted that and I know I'll take out this wall if I lift that rear steer now and when I turn out the back end I'll lift this wall so I'll get get out of this tight lane and I'll pull over then I'll lift it probably see down to me right there there's like a little wall if I had, if I had that lifted the swing would be a lot greater and I'd end up taking that out with this rear steer still down it's just it's quite incredible actually what right I'm just gonna pull over here and lift that and my door's not shut properly. There we are, I've lifted that. Right, let's head back to the yard now and see what else is going on. Well, hey, and just like that, we're back. I'm getting good at that. Right, I'm going to go in the office now, see what else is happening, and probably have my lunch. So, catch you in a bit. Awooga! Yeah, so I'm gonna have my lunch now. I've got some sausages, some eggs and beans, some yogurt, and two oranges. All right, I've had a couple of questions about the truck. So while I'm sat in here, I'll, uh, I'll run you through it, just in case anybody's interested. So, this, this one here, and tell you if your legs out or your cranes not stowed away properly and when you let the handbrake off if your legs out that bottom one will be orange and it'll be making a noise if your cranes not sat right or whatever that'll be orange and it'll, an alarm will be going off just to let you know that one there is the lane assist so if you're not paying attention and you're drifting off the road a little bit an alarm will go off the one next to it is the uh, crash detection. So if you get if you're getting a bit too close to someone, it'll automatically put the brakes on. You can turn these off, but I don't know why you'd want to. They're a good thing. Hazard lights, cruise control. Turn that on, and you adjust it on the steering wheel. The one below it is the PTO, also known as power takeoff. Don't know why they call it that, it's like the truck's going to grow wings or something. This one is the, um, if you put that on you can manually increase and decrease the revs. That one is hill start, stop you rolling back if you're on a hill. That's a good little feature actually. That one next to it is eco and power. The truck's always in eco mode by default. Um, the eco will keep it in the green zone. So when it changes, when it gets up to the top of the green, there it changes gear, keeps it in the green. If you put it in the power, I don't use the power mode. But if you put it in the power, it takes the revs up into the blue, so you get a longer ratio with the rev. But I just always leave it in eco. Obviously, I use more fuel in the power, and no one wants that. For the price of it these days. Next to that, traction control. That's your rear axle. To lift it, drop it. And that one's the diff lock. That locks your drive axle together. Makes them spin at the same time to so get you out of tricky situations. Also, 
you can um, when that's down if you press it down again it'll transfer all the weight onto the drive axle to give you a bit more grip as well and then uh, you've just got the heaters the radio the rev counter speedo you add blue fuel air water oil and that's the regeneration when that gets full it uh, regenerates burns off the diesel particles and uh, and then you've got your display in the middle which you can change yourself so however you want it but uh, as you see there I've been on break for 28 minutes and I've done a total of two hours and seven minutes driving so far today when you come off break and you start driving that that'll be your current journey then you've got your temperature your mileage that ease on there it's eco mode the same in neutral and then it that'll change as it changes up the gears yeah so that's just a little quick run through hope that helps anyone if uh, if you're new to the game or you're just interested in what the truck's like inside and if you drive one of these you've probably got an aircon switch there but there's mine yeah so Aruga.